let's play some daily word games. I'm going to do four in one, like I've been doing. I think that's working well. These are puzzles for Monday, April 18th, 2022. Today, I'm going to start with Dr. Hoodle, which, as you may guess, is a Wordle variant based entirely on Dr. Who. Apparently, all of the words are drawn from the scripts of the main series. And what that means is I get to start with the word Dalek. Then I will do three of my usuals, symbol, cross wordle, and I'll close it out with quartal. Hopefully this video is less cursed than yesterday's. <laughs> so, Dr. Hoodle, let's do it. Dalek. Now this is cool because it actually tells you little facts about the word. So apparently the word Dalek was said 751 times in Doctor Who, and it was first said by Dalek number one in, oddly enough, the Daleks. I just thought that was cool that they included that. Ends in K. Now, I am by no means a Doctor Who uh, expert, but I am a Doctor Who enthusiast. I've been watching the, you know, the reboot series that started in 2009 uh, since it came out. I admit I have not watched the most recent series, but I do like it. This makes me want to say think. And I would be wrong, although I did place the A. Normally I wouldn't have done that, but it was just calling to me. And keeping in mind that this could be a character's name, the name of a planet, <laughs> could be a lot of things. The only thing that I deeply, deeply regret about this game is that TARDIS is six letters. How about cross? Well, it doubles the S, and I know there's not going to be two S's in this. Maybe that's not so great, although the R would be nice to know about. Quark. <laughs> I'm tempted. Oh my goodness. Oh, I did not expect that to be right. That was great. <laughs> Quark. Love it. Okay. It was said 49 times, first by Rago in the Dominators, and send a Quark back to the unit. Should any more arrive, I want them alive. Well, you can't argue with that, now can you? All right, so that's Dr. Hoodle, and now I am going to have to start symbol with Quark, because obviously, so that should be interesting. Maybe I should have done this in a different order. Oh, well, that's unexpected. So, I'm going to assume that the blue hearts mean gray. The question is whether the red crosses mean yellow or green. So I'm going to test for green by making a word with the R in the fourth position and otherwise entirely new letters, if I can. How about shorn? No, not oh yeah, shorn. Oh, shorn is good. I like that. Okay, the red means yellow. Pretty sure. Yeah, red means yellow. So that means one of the letters from shorn is in the second position. It is not R. <laughs> Or it would have been in the second position here, too, because R is the only letter they share. So there's not an R in the word. There is S, -A S O, or N in the second position, and two of the other letters from Quark in the fourth and fifth positions. I'm going to try the O. In fact, I'm going to try O something A. Actually, I wonder if it's a... Wow, what would that be? It's not a Q. <laughs> oh, the R could be... No, the R couldn't be fifth, because then it would show up in the in the second word as well. Does that mean there's a K in the fourth position? That's interesting. But then what would go before it? Okay, I don't think O is in the second word. I think it's a different one. I think it maybe it's an... It could be the H. No, it can't be the H. That's the one thing it can't be. It could be the N. It could be something like... Something N something. K A? That seems unlikely. Or a r. No, it can't be the r. I keep saying that over and over again. Or a u, but that seems even odder. So that or s something o something k a. That's possible. Let me try the o in the second position. A comet. Okay. So the o is correct. Good. What's the rest of it? Um, maybe I'll try A at the end, or K fourth, or both? Like polka. Oh my gosh, is it polka? No, that would've been awesome though. But it is that pattern. It is this. What else fits there? How strange. It can't be... Vodka! It's vodka! <laughs> uh, there we go. Nice, vodka. So I'm just amused with it from cork to vodka. There's something, I don't know, there's something very funny about that to me, probably because the letter K is just inherently funny. 
All right, so we move on to the crosswordle, and in this one we are attempting to reconstruct somebody's series of guesses to arrive at the word tweet, and we have to use hard mode, meaning any letter we already know about, we have to apply to the next layer. So this has to be an E, and then these two have to be other words from tweet. This one could be a T, this one could be an E or a W. This can't be an E or it would be green. So I want to try W, T, and this means I have to use W and T again up here and in different spots, and this can't be W. Actually, I wonder if it would be better to make this an E. I could do Enter like that. Then this is an E and this is a T. That does seem more likely than this is an E. Yeah, I like that. That's better. Okay. So I can do stake. And then I can do really anything with any letters I haven't used with E as the second letter. Like belch. <laughs> that was pretty good. One minute. Sometimes they just come to me. It helps when they give you common letters and you have some flexibility about where to use them, especially if one of those letters is a vowel. All right, and we'll finish up with the quartal. Two of yesterday's answers were snide and gulch. So I'm going to start with those. I did solve it. It's just that video will never see the light of day. But I keep promising you a blooper reel. If you're a $5 patron, I might just give you one, and it might include some scenes from my cursed videos from yesterday. All right, this is a pretty good start. Which word? Okay, the bottom right word, I have four letters. So something like that would, I mean, unless the N, the thing is if the N is first, the H can't really go. So I think it does have to be something I and E, and the question is where the H goes. Oh, it could be wine as well. Wine is probably more likely. I could test. Why don't I test anyway? Because that'll help with other, other words. So let me test W and T, O and A. Can I get all of those into one word? Probably not. What about a Y then? W, T, could try white. That doesn't get me very much though. Or wrote. Wrote might be better. Okay. Ah, good. Okay, so this is wine. Ooh. Wine. Uh, that was good. That was really good. All right. So N, there's a T and a U. I was going to say quiet, but there's no E. And I is not third. So unfit, maybe? That works. Yeah. Okay. And here I place, okay, so spoil? No, no L. Oh, there is an L. Oh, then spoil. Okay. And then GR grave or grays? I've got room. There it is. Spoil, unfit, grays, and wine. All right. I thank you so much for joining me. Uh, check out my Patreon if you haven't. There's a link in the description. Uh, please consider hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. It doesn't cost you anything but a click of the mouse and uh, yeah, helps the algorithm. If you've got suggestions for word games, leave them in the comments. And otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.